This is 2 a.m. with Sharon. I'd like to tell you about a good, good father. My father was a good, good father. He went to heaven when he was 54 as a result of cancer. But during the time period that I was exposed to him, I was tremendously influenced by his faith walk. And one of the things I was praying this last week was that when I would talk to my kids, that I would have that same discernment that he had with me. Um, we live, what, 23 miles away from the school? And on the days that he had to come and pick me up, like if I had band or something, and he had to come pick me up and we were alone in the car, he would let me chatter, just like I chatter, on and on and on until we got about five miles from home. And at that point, he would ask a piercing question that would go right to the heart of what his teenager daughter was thinking and feeling. And he would um, not usually give me a right or wrong answer. He'd just ask me the question and just let it sit with me. And as it sat with me, um, the Holy Spirit would work with that area of my life and I would become more like Jesus as a result of it. And I've asked him that a lot lately for people that I'm with, people that I influence, my own kids, that I would have that, that um, ability to lead. In worship this morning, we sang Chris Tomlin's song, A Good, Good Father. And the first time I heard this was when Seth was dedicating some of his kids down in Virginia to the Lord. And at that point, I was just thinking about it being the father that, that God has been to Seth and Seth has, is going to be to his children. But I think it goes a lot further. I'll read you the um, lyrics. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. But I've heard the tender whispers of love in the dead of night. And you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I am loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. I've seen many searching for answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers only you provide. Because you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. Because you are perfect in all of your ways, you are perfect in all of your ways, you are perfect in all of your ways to us. Oh, it's love so undeniable, I, I can hardly speak. Peace so unexplainable, I, I can hardly think. As you call me deeper still, as you call me deeper still, as you call me deeper still into love, love, love. You are a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. And I am loved by you. And the verse of scripture that comes to my mind from this is John 14, 23. If anyone loves me and keeps my word, my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. Thanks for listening.